Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm having kinna guys. Uh-huh. Kinners. It's got, uh, been requested uh, I don't know how many times. But I finally got the kinners and I'm gonna have two toasts as well. Cause that was requested a few times, like can I toast Faye? So I thought, okay then, I'm gonna do it. So my son went to Kiwi Delights and he rang me and said, Mom, do you want anything from Kiwi Delights? I'm on my way there. You want some kenna or something? So when I heard the magic word kenna, I said, oh, yes, please. So, mm. yeah, there weren't much left, guys. So he bought four, one for him, three for me. And then um, he left this other one for this other guy that was there. He was for, for kenna's too. But... I'm glad he rang and I'm glad he found some. So here we go. I got it. Can I guys, can I guys, can now boldy. I'm not boldy though. I just thought I'd do my hair again today. Aye? Still trying to hide those greys. Anyway, I gotta do my prayer guys and then we'll hang out, okay? Okay guys, uh, yeah, and my uh, drink today is uh, pineapple cordial. Mm-hmm. Cheers. 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 Mm-hmm. If only had a bit of vodka in it, eh? I didn't mix it that good. Mm. Not even the cordial's fault. My fault. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll start opening up these jars. Yeah, these kinners are from Gatham. <laughs> I said it right this time. Gatham. Uh, these kinners are from Gatham. Gatham. <laughs> Gatham Island. Yeah, in New Zealand, guys. These are New Zealand kinners, which I think are the best. Uh huh. So the lid's off. Because the game is about to begin. Mm. Okay, see, so we have voice interpretation. Ma. Yeah, guys, I got my butter here, got my toast. First of all, let's get it going. Yeah, first one for you guys. Yummy. Mm. Hey guys. Mm. Right. Yum. For those who don't know what kind that is, it's the urgent guys. Oh, look at it. Look how beautiful it is. Massive. Yum. Man. Look. I am one lucky girl. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. No, put it out. <laughs> I'm going to butter my toast, but look at this. Mm -mm. Two years ago, I done a video eating three jars of kina. So this is like a um, two year anniversary. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm Mm. You know what, guys? This 
this makes music in my taste buds like all kind of music rock and roll r and b and um even a bit of waltz in matilda mm. I know the Kiwis love to pile on their butter, but me, I'll just make it medium. Hey, oh, yep, everything in moderation, guys, and it'll be hanky dory. I woke up this morning and I made a good bay for my mom's breakfast and made her some toast as well. And then when it all was done, I thought, my turn, a mukbang. Mm. Okay. <laughs> guys, it's just like, oh. Yeah, have a bite, guys. If you know, you know. For those who don't know what a kina is and don't understand it, guys, it's just like, it's just like, yeah, box go bite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lovely guys lovely and this is not even a saturation this is the truth the whole truth nothing but the truth mm. Mm. Hey, you lady walking down the street. Who's that lady? I, hey, oh gosh, <laughs> woo, woo. That's why I felt like doing my hair. Mm, mm, mm. So I can look all pretty up for my kind of date. Mm mm I thought I could lay there, baby. Mm -mm -mm. I just don't have any control right now. Mm. Delicious. One more. I'll bite this other one. Mm. So good. Oh, I'm so sorry for those that can't get the kennel right now and watching this. Stop poking your finger at me. <laughs> Guys, say don't be like that. We're all sharing. We're all a sharing. Look at me showing off, pounding, putting all this butter on. Say stop it, Faye. We'll kick you out. Wait. Guys, see, you guys got to get you guys some can I do all this? Hang on, have a bit of cordial. Did you see that? I'm trying to escape out of the jar, like, don't eat me, Faye. 
please. Oh, don't be like that, gosh. Make me feel sad. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. They want to come out together. Yeah, well, my Lola, you shot far enough. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 yeah. Oh, for all the hands that open up the jar, can I? For all the hands that opened up those shells of Kenna to make this jar for me, thank you very, very much, dear and beautiful Aotearoa. Hey, look at it, trying to hide from me. Just stop it. Here, guys. Have a bite. Ah, oh, and a little dribble. Watch yourself dribble. Mm. Look at how massive they are, man. This is so lovely. This is my breakfast. <laughs> the cheapest place you can get these kinners at um Puckley Market at Kathy's Kai. Yeah, when they open again, go go there and um because they sell them for twenty seven dollars, so they're very generous to sell at that you know low. Well, this very, very dollars a job. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But if you love Kenna, guys, you're still going to buy it. This is so lovely. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If you guys like kana and toast, you know exactly the taste that I'm tasting. Mm. Mm. Last bite. Mm. Okay, guys, now it's this lonely one. Oh, bye. Maria, Maria, Mariana. Oh, Pefa Ali, I'm not finding my own uncle. Ah, yeah, pick a fat Ali, I'm not calling my cookie eh? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> she says she's gonna come pull my hair guys not today because it's underneath my hair. do you know this is an ear lover lover mm -hmm. this is an ear lover lover made into a headband anyway guys come on come on keep enjoying it with me
the what the video that I done with my other free kitten, people were coming and saying, "Oh, I could just imagine, you know, the the poop, the poop, <laughs> and going to the toilet and all that." <laughs> It's all worth it, guys. All worth it. Say, Carlo, for you, go. Yeah, they they're even selling um like black pinners. To tell you the truth, my one is um the yellow pinner. I prefer the yellow pinner. I don't know what's going on here. But look at this. Are they having a relationship? <laughs> you guys, so uh, stop it. What's, the, what's the beep beep beep? Is this? That was a spaghetti canoe. <laughs> that one. Guys, I'm looking at my kinna. Inside is crying. You know why? Because <laughs> it's finishing. Guys, mm. mm. okay. I need to finish. Mm -mm. A bit of shower. That was good, you know, because that was only one shower out of three jars. Man, my husband and I, we were watching a, um, a um, YouTube how that they were shelling it and washing it in, um, in the water and everything. Big kennel, but they were doing it for condo, kando kennels. So if you want to watch that video, guys, go and punch in Kando Kenner's Shelling. Or look up Gaffin Iden. This jar must have had a tiny little hole because it was dribbling. Now, I like you. Uh, hang on, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Maria, why not? Yeah, they want more. Oh, kui kui nga ai. Na fi ai kui kui. Ah? Yeah, oh, kui kui nga mai fa le lo. Hang on, oi, gaming, eh? With a song, I could, I could. Hang on, I can look at Fiku. I saw the look at Fiku, and I made you could, I could. Hello, yeah. Hang on, hang on, yeah, oi. Hang on, yeah, oi. Saw, saw, I could look, and I made you could, I could. Man, saw, ah? Man, saw, ah? Saw, okay. So you have to listen. <laughs> you have to listen. Uh, uh, okay, Musa, uh, uh, share. Uh, guys, that was delicious. My tummy is happy. My my loo after won't be happy, but don't get into the personal details, guys. That was the bomb. Diggity dig dig dig. Mm.
was so happy. Mm. Guys, what, what now? What, what now? Okay. You know, I was thinking to myself, if I go to New Zealand one day, I want to go to where these canners are, are found. Not that I can actually die for one myself, mm. but I, I, I remember um, Wellington. Yeah, you can go and find spots in Wellington um, and go and die for your own kinna, you know. Just take the nice big ones and leave the little ones to have a chance to survive and, you know, feed someone else. Mm -hmm. Don't do the greedy ones and, you know, take out too much out of the ocean. No, there's other people that's going to come along and they want some too. As long as you got enough just for your family Go home and enjoy in your backyard or have your family, your kids around, opening all these beautiful kinners and enjoying them. Yeah. I remember when living in Wellington, you can go pick your own apples. You can go fishing. Oh, let me tell you a story. You know why my, my brother so loves fishing, eh? Because... When he was a little kid, my dad used to take him fishing and they used to stand on the wharf and fish. Yeah. So they'll come home with some little fishes for us and my mum will clean it and then, you know, she'll fry it for us. Delicious. And to this day, my brother still loves fishing. I remember one time as a little brat, my, my, it was a Friday. So my dad got home, he got out of his work clothes and they geared up. And my, he always takes my brother's soul, you know. So they geared up and everything. And um, this was about the third time my brother went. And I never got offered to go. And I was, I was fairly left out. Mm. So I saw that they put a jacket on. And dumb me, instead of wearing a pants, I went and put a skirt on and a cardigan, a T-shirt, a cardigan, and my fin windbreaker. But my dad made sure that my brother wore thick clothes and, you know, a hat and everything. And here's me thinking, well, my windbreaker had a hat, so I thought, mm, okay, mm, I'm all geared up. So I followed them. You know that pink panther? Didding, didding, didding. And, and then the, the lamppost, I'm standing there like the lamppost. At first they, they looked back, they saw me, they said, go home. So, mm, so I turned around and I went. And I thought, and as I was walking away, I thought, no, I want to see where they go. I want to go and do some fishing too. So, anyway, so we made it all the way there. I tell you what, I nearly gave up and I nearly turned around to go home, but we got to the place on the wharf and then after that my brother saw me and said to my dad we for your lolly and then my dad said no no it's all way you know like he was pretty upset that he saw me and i was pretty upset that they were upset my brother gave me a dirty look like and i thought and then he said and i went and then we were doing that then my dad said come over here Sit over there by the car. So the reason why he told me to sit there by the car was it started winding, you know, like windy, <laughs> winding. It started, the, the wind started picking up and it started getting a bit chilly. And um, I said, oh, I want to have a turn. So they had this ring thing and around the ring, ring thing is a, the, what is it, a fishing line? No, the fishing wire thingy. Say, help me out, guys. What is it called? Fishing, fishing line. Yeah, fishing line. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I said to my dad because I saw there was my dad. My brother had the green one, and there was an orange one on the ground near the bag. And then I said, um, "You're fine for so well, give me." A... And my dad goes, "Eh, say I don't go for you. Go for me. You can come and let so well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick on me." Anyway, so he did give me a turn. He said, Sully, give your sister that and help her. He goes, 
uh, that makes a way, uh, you know, and I thought, whatever. <laughs> anyway, I know, thinking about it now, guys, trust me, I am a little brat. Well, I was a little brat. I was a little brat, stop it, okay? Yeah, so my brother helped me and he was going, don't go, it's like, I didn't come for this abuse. <laughs> anyway, so I started biting, you know, started biting on the line. So I was got excited. Oh! And then my brother took the thing off me. He goes, yeah, so so cool. And takes it. And then he starts pulling up the little fishy that comes up. And I thought, that was mine. Then I walked away. <laughs> and I went and sat down. Yeah, when I sat down, I thought, I hate this. I shouldn't have came. I'm cold. I should have stayed home. Then I was starting to think about my warm blanket at home. I started thinking about the food. But guess what, guys? I killed it for my poor dad and my poor brother. We had to leave early. But they got them some fish. I don't know how much, but it was like a half a bucket, you know. But we got some fish. And then we walked home. You know, we walked back home. And it was a bit of a walk. And I had to kill it for them because normally they go, they'll stay there like till early hours in the morning when it's daytime. They'll stay there and come home with a few fish. But I had to be nosy and find out where they're going and follow them like I was Pink Panther. Yeah. And yeah, I remember that. And that was my first and my last time I ever wanted to go. Mm. Yeah, so... I think they told my brother Jack one time. That's why my brother always talks about wanting to take his son fishing with the fishing line, you know, with the rod. <laughs> but the only way you can really enjoy fishing, guys, is in New Zealand because there's plenty of fish in New Zealand. Plenty. I love it. Yeah, when the borders open, God willing, we would love to go back to New Zealand and have a have a visit. I know. We even plan to go back to live there, guys. But I keep thinking, it's my kids. Oh, I just can't leave them. I just can't be away from them. Even there was about three of them that said that they will come with us. But I just can't leave them. <laughs> even the older ones. I know they're old bags, but I still love my old bags, you know. Oh, well, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I enjoyed, I loved, loved, loved that those three kinners loved every single bit of it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So I just got to go away, <laughs> wait for my tummy to play up or something. Mm. It's all worth it. I don't care. I don't care about any tummy aches or, or going to the loo so many times. It was so, so worth it. Oh, thank you, loving God, for... This lovely food that I enjoyed today. Mm, mm, mm. Hope you guys get some lovely food just like me. Or some lovely kinna. Even though it's about 30 bucks. Mm, but enjoy every single bit of it. Mm, mm, mm. Well, thanks for hanging out with me once again. Fast I hope you guys are all well. I hope you guys are taking care of each other. And doing the right thing by your parents. And by your children. And just being good to yourself. You have to take care of yourself first. Priority yourself first. Because when you're well, you're able to take care of your mother over there. They bucked at me sometimes when I'm calling her name. Or you're able to take care of your children. Even your cat, like Cookie, at my our cat outside. That always... See my cat? I don't know. It's not my cat. It's not my cat. I call it my cat. See the family cat, Cookie? He won't meow, meow, meow at anyone else, but once he hears my voice, or once he's, oh, meow, 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 meow. And I say to these kids, you guys own this cat, and I'm the one that's feeding it. Why don't you guys come and look after it? See, this is why, guys, never allow your kids to get animals if you have a little feeling that they're not going to look after it. Because I told them not to bring the cat, because I knew they weren't going to look after the cat, but no, they go and get the cat, and now they don't want to, you know, look after the cat. So when it sees me, I mean, the others, they, they feed this cat, but no, he waits for me to come out. Even when I, because there's, there's an outside toilet, even when I go there, 
Uh, I think, oh, I can't see Cookie, but I don't know. He <laughs> he must know that I'm in there and he comes and sits outside, meow, meow, meow. I even hear my daughter go past to go back inside the house. He doesn't follow her. No, he sits outside and disturbs me and I'm in there concentrating. Mm. <laughs> okay, go <on. laughs> Take your imaginary mind somewhere. Don't don't take it where I was talking. <laughs> yeah, let that one fossil fuel, guys. I uh, enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Gotta love you and leave you. Fossil fuel. God bless.